Hey everyone, it's Outrage Games back with another Unity tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make the camera follow the player. I will also animate it in a very easy way with which you can use to create awesome moments for your game or even cinematics. Let's start! First of all, I'm going to install CinemaSyn. Select Window, Package Manager and Search for CinemaSyn. Then install it. Ok, now here we have it. Add a 2D camera. Drag it to the main camera so that it becomes a child of it. Now you just have to make it follow the player from here. Also adjust the orthographic size as you want. I only see two problems now. First of all, the player is always at the center of the camera and that looks kinda awful. And secondly, the camera doesn't stop at the left side of the level. So, for the first problem, I'm going to increase the screen Y and the dead zone width. As you can see, it looks more natural. For the second problem, I'm going to add the Polygon Collider 2D component to the blue background and set the trigger on. Now I will add the 2D Confiner extension to my camera and drag the blue background there. Done! Now we can run across our level. Now get ready, I'm going to show you something really really scary. Please don't watch it if you are under 18. Get ready. 3, 2. Well, not that scary. Let's suppose that this is a boss. We need to create an awesome animation for the camera to zoom out when you face him. Let's do it. First of all, create an idle animation of our camera that does nothing. Now I create a zoom out animation. I will just go to the end of the animation and increase the orthographic size of the camera there. Now we need to trigger the animation when we reach his teeth. So I will create an empty game object with a 2D box collider. Set it to trigger and adjust the size as I want. In the camera animator, I'm going to add the boolean parameter zoom out and make the transitions that you see on your screen. It is pretty easy. Don't forget to remove the loop time from the zoom out animation. The last step is to create a very simple C sharp script and name it zoom out. In this script, I'm going to add the variable for the parameter name zoom out, a variable for the camera animator component, and one for the 2D box collider of our object. Now I'm going to check whether the player is colliding with the zoom out object or not. If so, the camera will play our zoom out animation. And that's all. Look how cool and simple it is.
That was it for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to check out my Discord server because all the scripts for my tutorials are there. Goodbye!